Deep within Nevada's Great Basin Desert lies a cave that held a secret hidden from humanity for thousands of years. This place is known as Spirit Cave, a site that would eventually challenge and even transform the accepted story of when humans first arrived on this continent. Our tale begins in 1940, when an archaeological husband and wife team, Sidney and Georgia Wheeler, were conducting surveys on behalf of the Nevada State Parks Commission. Their main mission at the time was to safeguard ancient sites from the destructive impact of guano mining. But inside Spirit Cave, they stumbled upon something far beyond their expectations. Beneath layers of carefully woven reed mats, they uncovered human remains. Among them was a partially mummified body, its head and right shoulder astonishingly well-preserved thanks to the dry desert climate. This wasn't just another burial. The body, later identified as a man in his 40s, had been laid to rest with great care, wrapped in reed matting, covered by a rabbit skin blanket, and wearing moccasins crafted with fine detail. Alongside him were other woven materials, each piece showcasing remarkable craftsmanship. These objects pointed to a culture with skills and sophistication that would not reappear in the region's archaeological record for thousands of years. Together with local helpers, the Wheelers carefully removed a total of 67 artifacts from the cave and transported them to the Nevada State Museum in Carson City. At that time, radiocarbon dating had not yet been developed, so archaeologists could only make rough estimates. Based on what they observed, researchers in 1940 believed the remains were between 1,500 and 2,000 years old. The find was considered valuable, but it seemed to fit neatly within the accepted timeline of North American prehistory. After being catalogued, the remains were stored away, largely forgotten for nearly five decades. But the spirit caveman's true story was far from over. To grasp the world he once lived in, we must look back 10,000 years. During his lifetime, Nevada was not the arid desert we know today. Instead, much of the region was covered by ancient Lake Lahontan, a massive body of freshwater left behind by the Ice Age. Early communities thrived here, relying on the lake's fish, waterfowl, and rich plant life. Far from being wanderers in a barren land, these people lived in stable settlements along fertile shorelines, ancestors of those who would later farm and ranch across the region. Decades after the initial discovery, archaeology had advanced, and new scientific methods promised to shed light on the mysteries of the past. In the 1990s, researchers at the Nevada State Museum revisited their collections, this time armed with a revolutionary technique, accelerated mass spectrometry radiocarbon dating. Researchers saw a chance to put their new, more precise dating technology to the test on previously undated discoveries. Among those artifacts was the partially preserved mummy from Spirit Cave. The outcome left them stunned. Instead of being just 2,000 years old as once believed, the results revealed he had lived roughly 9,400 years ago, and when the dates were calibrated, it pushed his age back even further to more than 10,600 calendar years in the past. This single revelation transformed the spirit caveman overnight, from a relatively minor archaeological curiosity into the oldest human remains ever uncovered in North America. To truly grasp the magnitude of this, consider that he walked the earth over 5,000 years before the pyramids of Giza were built, and more than two millennia before Utzi, the Iceman of Europe. His age outstripped even the most ancient mummies of Egypt and South America, making him the oldest known human mummy in the entire world. The implications were enormous. His existence forced scientists to rethink the timeline of human migration into the Americas. For decades, the leading theory held that the first people arrived around 12,000 years ago, crossing the Bering Land Bridge that once linked Siberia and Alaska during the Ice Age. These early settlers were known as the Clovis people, famous for their distinctively crafted spear points. Yet the spirit caveman's incredible age disrupted this neat timeline. He either lived alongside the Clovis culture, or perhaps even before its peak. The discovery sparked fierce debate in the scientific community. Could there have been multiple waves of migration? Did early peoples perhaps travel by coastal sea routes long before the Clovis? 
Some even resurrected bold theories of possible crossings from Europe in deep prehistory. Suddenly, the story of early America became far richer and far more complicated than anyone had imagined. But the spirit caveman's legacy wasn't confined to science alone. His age and rediscovery ignited a deeply emotional and legally complex conflict. Since Spirit Cave lay on public land, the remains fell under the jurisdiction of the Bureau of Land Management, BLM. While scientists pushed for further study, including advanced DNA testing, another powerful claim emerged. The Fallon Paiute Shoshone tribe, whose ancestral homeland surrounds Spirit Cave, asserted that the remains belonged to them. Their oral history speaks of an unbroken connection to the land stretching back to time immemorial. For the tribe, the spirit caveman was not a specimen for laboratories, but a revered ancestor whose grave had been disturbed. Under the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, NAGPRA, a federal law enacted in 1990, museums and agencies are legally required to return Native American remains and sacred artifacts to the tribes with cultural ties to them. Citing both geography and ancestry, the Fallon Paiute Shoshone people sought the repatriation of the spirit caveman, demanding that their ancestor be laid to rest once more. The Fallon Paiute Shoshone people made their stance clear. No testing of any kind, not even DNA analysis, should be performed on the remains. To them, such actions would desecrate their ancestor. This position sparked a long and difficult legal and ethical battle that stretched on for 20 years. On the other side, scientists argued passionately for the immense knowledge that could be unlocked. They believed these ancient remains might hold answers about the earliest migrations into the Americas, shedding light on the genetic history of its very first people. Some researchers even pointed to distinctive physical traits in early skeletons, which seemed to differ from modern Native Americans, suggesting the possibility of a much older, unrelated population. A turning point finally came in 2015. After years of dialogue and trust building, the Fallon Paiute Shoshone tribe allowed a single, carefully controlled test, a full genome sequencing of the spirit cave man. The task fell to a team led by evolutionary geneticist Professor S. K. Villerslev of the University of Cambridge and the University of Copenhagen. The results were groundbreaking. The 10,600-year-old remains were not from some unrelated people, but were directly connected to modern Native Americans. Even more striking, the DNA revealed a clear ancestral link to the Fallon Paiute Shoshone themselves. With science now supporting the tribe's claim, the path ahead was undeniable. In 2016, the Bureau of Land Management officially returned the spirit caveman to the Fallon Paiute Shoshone. Two years later, in 2018, he was reburied in a private ceremony by the tribe, laid to rest once more in the land that had sheltered him for over 10 millennia. But the significance of spirit caveman went far beyond one reburial. He became North America's answer to Europe's Utzi the Iceman, a rare, preserved time capsule. His existence forced humanity to confront a past far older, richer, and more intricate than previously imagined. Unlike Utzi, who deepened our understanding of Europe's Copper Age, the spirit caveman did something even greater. He rewrote the origin story of an entire continent. For decades, the dominant theory of migration into North America claimed that humans first arrived around 12,000 to 13,000 years ago. This timeline cast the presence of indigenous peoples as relatively recent. Spirit Caveman shattered that view. At more than 10,600 years old, his burial stands as undeniable evidence of a deep, ancient human presence in Nevada during an era when Ice Age lakes still glistened across the Great Basin and massive Ice Age animals had only just disappeared. His carefully prepared burial, wrapped in mats, dressed in moccasins and covered in rabbit skin blankets, tells us of a community that was not simply surviving, but thriving, creating, and passing on traditions. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an exploration into history's greatest mysteries. And let us know in the comments, 
Do you believe even older human remains are still waiting to be discovered?